Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Minecraft style games here on the channel. So I know last week I barely uploaded, um, even though I was back from Spain you probably thought I was dead or something. But um, basically I was just really busy, there's really no other excuse. But um, yeah, I apologize for that, you know, how many times have I said that already in my YouTube career. But today we'll just be doing a post commentary. And I have kind of a more serious topic to talk to you guys about today. Um, you know, just regarding a few things uh, about the channel recently and, you know, people that have uh, inquired about my channel. No hate if you're watching this right now, but the owner of a server, I, I probably mentioned this before, basically... The owner of a server uh, contacted me in a comment, which isn't the best way because the comment usually gets automatically blocked. Not from me, but it got like flags or whatever for like spam just because you write that much, post a link, that kind of stuff. So, in the future, if you guys have business and queries and that kind of stuff, either contact me at my business email um, in the channel or dm me on twitter but basically he reached out saying oh uh if you promote my server i'll pay you some nice cash so i'm like who doesn't like nice cash so of course i was immediately like yo hit me up got some nice cash going on but you know the thing with that is when you really don't enjoy a product or anything you're reviewing in general or showcasing like the promotion is just gonna be and sound really fake so what really got me like sealed into the deal kind of was that it was a skyblock server and i had a lot of other fun memories of doing skyblock i'm like yo i could definitely try this out i've done sky factory in the past skyblock is actually a pretty fun game mode so um i was pretty excited you know getting paid for doing what i actually like to do and i'd probably um, some pretty honest things about the server, right? So, that was pretty hype. This is about a week ago, I'd say. Um, and again, if you're watching, this is no hate to you, um, owner. But, um, apparently, yeah, it was owned by, like, a group of three or four people now. Um, and I didn't know this. I thought he was the only owner. I, I didn't really check in on this too much because I, I didn't really care at this point i don't care because uh, i'm not gonna get scammed i'm not giving him anything i'm just giving him my time so that's basically what i end up getting scammed on which is my time um basically a waste of time what ended up happening was i recorded a video on the server it was fine and dandy i got some pretty good footage actually it was a fun time i i was kind of procrastinating with it too the whole week when i wasn't busy i was just kind of procrastinating with video making which is not very good i usually do that a lot so definitely gotta break that habit but i was planning on editing it and uploading and basically every time i try to go on the server because i needed to record a few clips to end it off it would say down for maintenance so i'm like okay i'll just wait so you know i was talking to the owner on skype about it and stuff and then i had the video pretty much ready and set to go so kind of spent my saturday just chilling doing csgo stuff didn't do much editing or anything but basically i'm um, like oh crap i should probably upload i haven't uploaded in a while right as i streamed on friday that was really successful but um yeah on sunday uh, Sunday morning what ends up happening is I spend pretty much a lot of the morning editing this video I'm like oh if this guy's gonna pay me um, such a handsome amount of money I mean it, it wasn't that crazy amount I'm not gonna um, really say it but it was a good amount like worth my time I guess just from doing YouTube I'm like you know um, it feels better earning money from doing what you like to do so that's mainly why I did it as well but I uh, had it like pretty much well edited. I spent a lot of time editing it because you know usually a lot of my videos are just kind of throw them together. Um, cut comms, I spend a little more time. And with drift videos, it just takes longer recording them, that kind of thing. But this one, I really spent time you know going through all parts of the gameplay because I was really blank on commentary that day. I had to cut out so many coughs and ums and just wasted a ton of time 
But, you know, I was like, this is going to be worth it. It's going to be a pretty good video. And, you know, the deal is just going to be good. What ends up happening is I go to Chinese school that day because, you know, I'm, I'm the chink. I'm like, yo, this is going to be lit. And, um... I was like, yeah, I'll just go home, record the last few clips, render it out, and things will be fine and dandy. And then I get some Skype notifications. And basically, I, I don't want to call them out or anything, but I'm probably just going to try and scroll up here. But he he's just asking me a lot. Like, he was really interested in the deal as well, like, asking me when I'm going to upload and record. So I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. And then... um. He tells me that the server's up, and I'm like, thanks, video should be coming out later tonight. He suddenly goes, wait, no. I'm like, okay. Um, and then he tells me to jump in a call with him. So I'm like, is something wrong? I'm um, like, what do you feel the need to call me for? And, you know, I go on the call with him. Like, I'm, like, not super duper comfortable talking with new people, like, just right off the bat. You know, we introduce each other just a little bit. Like, we talked on text and stuff, but... And then, what ends up happening, he says he's gotten into this fight with um, another part owner of the server. And over, like, some quantity of money or, like, some PayPal information for the server. And I'm just like, okay then. So I'm just sitting back on the edge of my seat wondering, like, how is this going to play out? What is this, um, what is this guy doing, you know? Things weren't really working out between the two of them. Yeah, he tells me that he and his other buds are probably going to branch out from this one guy who's going to keep owning the Skyblock server. They're going to start a new server, or start up an older server that they had already. And, um, they offered, if I, or they offered the same deal, like, to record on that new server, um, with that same amount of money, I suppose. I'm like, all right, I just spent all this work editing and stuff, um, you know, it's kind of, kind of a waste, so, I didn't really tell him that right to his face, because I was just pondering, you know, is it really worth it at this point, so I don't really tell him that, um, at that point, but he says, oh, I'll just pay you if you upload the trailer, so I'm like, is this really worth it? Like, do people on my channel really want to see this kind of stuff? Just those promotions. Because I'm subscribed to quite a few people who only upload those server trailers. Which really annoying. Like, we're not going to watch a 30 second teaser. You're just going to upload another one each week. So, I just, I'm not that type of guy, you know. I wasn't really feeling up to it. And he told me that the new server is mainly factions with all these fancy stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm not the most interested. Because the thing with factions is mainly just PvP, raiding bases. I'm like, not really into that kind of stuff. You know, I'm thinking about it for a bit. And I'm like, the more I think about it, the more I just realize how big of a time waster this is. Because... I don't actually need this money. I'm not broke. Um, I'm fortunate enough to, you know, have a very nice, you know, house, family, everything. So I, I don't need this money. Like, is it really worth my time to, like, just record this stuff and, you know, waste my time doing this stuff? So, I, like, the more I think about it, the more I realize that it's it's really not. So, I actually go onto the old Skyblock server, you know, just to see what things are going. I see the old owner online, well, yeah, this guy online who offered me the deal, and then the person he got into a fight with. So, I'm like, yeah, what are you doing on this server? Y'all meet up or something? And then... Yeah, I just messaged the, the guy he got in a fight with back and forth. Um, just for a little bit, and, you know, he tells me, like, oh, we're not fighting anymore, who told you we're still fighting, so now, at this point, I'm just really confused, I'm like, yeah, he did, he said, like, you guys were completely done, like, that kind of stuff, he messages me on Skype, right, the guy who offers me the deal, he says, yo, don't say anything, we're getting this all worked out, and at this point, you know, I'm like, nope, I'm completely out of here now, completely done, Ah, uh, you just wasted a ton of my time. Not you're not worth it anymore. Not uploading anything on my channel. I really don't care about this money anymore. So ah, uh, yeah. From then on, we haven't really spoken. So yeah, that's pretty much that. And that's basically my little story, or not so much a rant, but 
Uh, my little experience with um, a YouTube deal, I suppose, and, you know, uh, paid promotion, basically, and why you shouldn't necessarily do it all the time, quote-unquote being a sellout, but... Um, you know, when you actually need the money, for example, uh, if you guys keep up with the CSGO community, uh, Anomaly, one of my favorite YouTubers, honestly, because of his explosive personality, I suppose, he didn't want to work with these big gambling sites and stuff for the longest time just because that wasn't his type of content, you know, he's not going to upload some random gambling videos and stuff, but, um, his father was actually working in, like, um, a harmful place and wasn't good for his health and that kind of thing so he actually needed the money for his dad and that kind of thing yeah so he got into a deal with drake moon uh which is what a lot of a lot of other csgo youtubers are doing nowadays um like nick bunyan for example not gonna call him out specifically but he's just one example uh, i do like all his other videos better than just his drake moon gambling videos but anomaly he's managed to work those gambling videos into his channel and like his content that style that kind of stuff so props to him but really you shouldn't be a sellout unless you really have to in my opinion like if you think it's worth the extra cash then you should definitely go for it but like if you really don't need it you know you're successful you're fortunate like just watching this back now i realize i for totally forgot to mention some people promote certain products or services um not because just for the money but because they genuinely just enjoy that product or service and just want to you know showcase it of course so completely forgot to mention that those people aren't really sellouts um i have mad respect for them like if you just enjoy a product definitely do what you do you know um if you like drinking sprite for example just drink sprite in your videos like who the heck cares but yeah, all I had to say. I care about my fans, and I'm sure most YouTubers do, so you should really care about how they look at your videos and, you know, your your image to them. Um, like, if all you upload is this promotion stuff, it's really not going to make a great impact on how they think of you. So, it's just my little rant. I know it's like 10 minutes, but yeah, this is a pretty try-hard game, actually. This is my third recording possibly but yeah i teamed with a guy as you can clearly see here but i really do hope you guys learned something from my experience and if you do have a youtube channel of your own um you should honestly go for these deals if you um see them as good for beneficial to your channel that kind of thing but obviously again as i said um you really don't need it you should take into account what your fans think and just how you really feel about it not just do it because people are telling you to or it's like um good money or anything so yeah all all things aside um i i don't like have anything against the owner of the skyblock server or anything he actually did donate to me on stream so um yeah, props to him, but stay tuned. I have a really busy week next week again, but I will be on spring break soon. I, our district has spring break a lot later than others, but um, anyways, that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and let me know what else you'd like to see more of on my channel rather than just, you know, FG Drift and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to try to do more building, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode, and I'll see you guys later.